gosh. What happened to everyone? I think the Grinch stole their brains. The Christmas holidays have got everybody messed up. Gosh. Even our lizards. The lizards aren't moving. Ah, I think I'll spread a little pixie dust and maybe we can bring them all back to life. Welcome back. I'm glad you guys are all alive. I was really worried about you. Hope you had a great holiday. Hope you enjoyed yourself. And now we're going to get back into learning and some exciting things today. We're going to talk about chemical reactions. Before we get started, though, I'd like somebody to volunteer. We're going to remember who we are in this class. Skyly, why don't you go over to the board? And she's going to point them out, and we're going to read them out. Instead of saying, you are, when she points to you, you're going to say, I am. I am. Everybody got it? All right, Scotty, take it away. I am scientists. I am authors. I am important. I am leaders. I am explorers. I am creators. I am readers. I am a friend. I am love. I am special. I am the reason why you're here. Thank you very much. Gavin, I'd like for you to come up and you're going to read our objectives for today. What are we going to be learning in class today? Okay, class, today's objectives are, first of all, we're going to identify the information included in the chemical equation. Next, we're going to explain how mass is conserved during a chemical reaction. After that, identify three categories of chemical reactions. Thank you very much. So the three things we're going to be looking at learning today is what's included in a chemical equation, explain how mass is conserved in a chemical reaction, and identify the three categories in a chemical reaction. Before we get started, I want us to experience a little bit about what we're going to learn about today. I need a volunteer. Well, since you're so excited, Julie, come on up. All right, so you're going to need these because there may be a little explosion. Yes. Boom, boom. Yes. <laughs> we like explosions in the classroom, so. Some people's life can't go next. Can't All right, so I have an unknown chemical here. I have an unknown chemical here. Let's come this way and bring our trash can here. I have an unknown chemical. When I have an unknown chemical, should I taste the chemical? No. 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 I know it may look like candy, but it's not candy, so we don't want to eat it. Do we want to put our nose in the bag and no. take a big whiff of it? No. No. If we're unsure, we can do a little scientific whiff. And that might help us. What is that called when we're taking a little whiff? We're using our what? Senses. Our senses. And that's how we learn the world around us through observation and we use our senses to do that. All right, so here's what we're going to do, Miss Julie. Listen, I, I've only had one student blow up before. So hopefully this won't be the second. So hold that as far away as possible. All right, you ready for this? All right, so if there's a loud bang or noise, don't shout or scream. Okay, everything will be okay. I am a professional. I am a professional. Okay, here we go. Ready? One. You ready? Two. Keep it steady. Steady. Three. Boom! Oh, oh. It scared me. <laughs> Nothing happened. Okay. All right, what I'd like for you to do is hold it up high and sprinkle it over the flame. Oh, oh, magical pixie dust. Oh, 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 that's awesome. Awesome. All right, if you enjoyed that little experiment, whenever I say three, clap one time, one, two, three. All right, was that awesome? What's what? the only yeah. true indication that we've had a chemical reaction? Whatever something is something, but it changes to something. When we have a new product. So some of these things may be there, but it may not be a chemical reaction. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. So 
Let's look quickly at the words that are in our chapter that we're going to be looking at today. Vocabulary words. I'm going to say them. You repeat them. Chemical equation. Chemical equation. Law of conservation of mass. Law of conservation of mass. Open system. Open system. Closed system. Closed system. Coefficient. Coefficient. Synthesis. Synthesis. Decomposition. Decomposition. And replacement. Replacement. Now quickly talk with your group and see, are there any words on the list that you've never heard of? Write those words down, the ones that you've never heard of. Dominique, are there any words that your group has never heard of? All right, come in and underline that word for us. No, any other words that your group has not heard of? Okay, come and underline those words. Haven, how about your group? Coefficient. Coefficient. Hey, Gianna, what about your group? Synthesis. Synthesis. What about your group? Replacement. Replacement. Alright, so all these words we will go through in our lesson. By the end of our lesson, you should have a better understanding of all these words. do class with the blocks is each person in the group grab you a handful of blocks. You don't have to count them out. Just grab you a handful of blocks. Put them on your desk. Do it quickly. Five, four, three, two, half, quarter, and da 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 da. Alright, so now that you have a, uh, blocks in front of you, I'd like for you to count how many blocks you have in your pile. Ready, set, go. So I'd like you to take your, your pile and to separate it any way you like into two piles. Separate that into two piles. Just any way you'd like. Separate it into two piles. Now what I'd like you to do is to take those two piles and count how many blocks you have. Did you get a different number the second time than you had the first time? You didn't? You had the same amount? What do you mean? Like you... Both piles added together, was it the same amount as your first number? Yes. It was? Okay. Strange. Sam, were your numbers the same as well? Your first number and your second number, when you added them together, they were the same? Yes. They were? Jada, how about you? Were your numbers the same? You mean you didn't lose any along the way? No. So what you started with, you ended up with the same thing? Yes. Well, that's amazing. That's amazing. Remember that. We're going to come back to that a little later. 
All right, so what I'd like for you to do now is I would like for you to use any number of blocks you would like, any color blocks that you would like, and I would like you to see what you need to do to balance the scale. Balance the scale. When you think you got a balanced scale, raise your hand in your group and I'll come around and check it out. Alright, what can you tell me about the scale that you see here? What's going on? How did you balance it? So you have the same amount on each side. Yes, sir. Awesome. Awesome. Balance the scale. So how do we balance the scale? So you have the same amount on each side. What if I take one off of this side and now we have seven? Should it be balanced if we have seven on one side and eight on the other? So that's not balanced because we don't have what? The same amount. Okay, very good. 18 on both. Now what if I took three off of this side? Would it be balanced? How many would we have on this side? How many would we have on that side? Would that work? Would it be balanced? No. So what do we got here? Nine on each side. Well, what happened if I took three more and put them on this side? Why would it be unbalanced? So I'd have, why would it be unbalanced? Because you have to have the same amount on each side. You have to have the same amount on each side. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do an experiment to try to observe the law of conservation of mass and see if it actually takes place. So you have in your group, you have vinegar, baking soda, scales, plastic bags. We're going to create an open or closed system here. Closed. A closed system. We're going to seal the bag. The procedures for the lab are on the board. What I'd like for you to do is make sure that your group follows step by step. Make sure you follow all safety rules and regulations. And we're going to complete a lab report from the information that you gather. So make sure your transcribers are documenting all the data, all the procedures, and I'll go over that in just a minute after the lab to make sure you have all that information. Any questions before we get started? No. Now what should you do if anything goes wrong in a lab? First thing, always let me know if something falls or breaks or spills, make sure I am aware of it. Make sure you follow all safety procedures. Any questions? You may begin. Let's get started. If you have questions about the procedures on the board, raise your hand. I'll be glad to help you out. short one scale so you guys will have to weigh your contents with theirs.
you've weighed your uh, contents, then you can go ahead and mix it in and observe what happens. Feel the bag, use your senses. What did you notice about the bag when you felt it? When your group has all your data, uh, raise your hand so I know that your group is done collecting your data. Alright, once you've collected your data, have one group that has their data, you can start working on your conclusions. Talk to your group about your conclusions, the things that you observed, uh, and uh, what were the results like. Was your hypothesis correct? Was it incorrect? Go back and look at all that stuff now. Alright, so for the sake of time, we're just going to uh, we're gonna look at uh, the results a little later. You will have to turn in your lab report, including your hypothesis, your procedures, your safety and behavior, all the things that are included. Now, who can tell me their results? The results were once you poured in the baking soda to the vinegar, it all started with the chemical reaction of it foaming and bubbling up. And then after that, the products came together and they were, the temperature was really cold. So there was cold, there was a change in temperature. Alright, so what about the measurements? What does the law of conservation of mass say? That I can either be created or destroyed. Now, so what should we see in our, in our experiment that proves that? The contents that we weigh in the beginning should equal what? The contents, the contents that are the All right. How did the results come out? Very accurate. All right. Is it going to be exact? All right. Is there a possibility that something could escape from our bag? Yes. All right. We don't know for sure that our bags are completely air sealed. Now, if we were doing a real scientific study, would one trial be enough to draw a conclusion? No. It would not. What would we need to do? We, we, need to over and over. we would need to repeat the trial several times and compare our data. 
What we're going to compare on our grass in our lab report is the beginning weight and the end weight. Okay? Any questions on the experiment that you did? Okay. All right, the last thing I want to look at, question. We don't want to what if you boil the vinegar and then pour it in. Would the temperature of the vinegar affect the experiment? What do you think? It could. How do you think it would affect it, the experiment? If you wait quick because the molecules would be moving faster. Okay, so because of the, the heated vinegar, the molecules are further apart and it would probably speed up the reaction. How many of you agree with that? Okay, I, I tend to agree with that as well. So heat tends to speed things up. All right, so if mama wants you to get moving real quick, she likes a fire under you, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you move a little bit quicker, right? Yeah. Fire, heat, it tends to do that. So the last thing we want to look at is the three different types of reactions that can happen. We had three vocabulary words. Synthesis, decomposition, and replacement. Everybody raise your hands up. Ball up your fists. What we're going to look at is these, these three types of reactions. The first one we're going to look at is synthesis. What happens is you have two reactants that start separate. A chemical reaction takes place and they come together. So separate, synthesis, they come together. So now we're stuck together. So we have two different atoms combined together and they're going to come apart. Decomposition. They start out together and they come apart. Decomposition. And the third one we have, we have two items here and they switch places. This is replacement. They change places. Okay, so you're going to repeat after me. Hands up. And you're going to show me the signals. Synthesis. Decomposition. Replacement. All right, as I say them, we're going to say them and do them. Ready? Synthesis. Synthesis. Decomposition. Decomposition. Replacement. 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 Again, synthesis. Synthesis. Decomposition. Follow me. Decomposition. Decomposition. Replacement. 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 Now, this is what I'd like you to do to wrap things up today. We started out with three objectives today. I want you to answer these three questions. Identify the information included in a chemical reaction. Explain how mass is conserved during a chemical reaction. And identify three categories of chemical reactions. Before you do that, I would like to do this. Talk to your group real quick and tell me. We looked at chemical reactions in a lab setting. Are there chemical reactions in the real world? Yeah. And how do they affect us in our daily lives. Talk to your group and see what you come up with quickly. I'm going to pass out your exit tickets. system that takes place in our world, photosynthesis, we have plants that undergo photosynthesis, that's a chemical reaction, and without plants going through photosynthesis, how would that affect us? We would be able to breathe in good air. We kind of need that, don't we? Pollution. Yeah, so photosynthesis is important. Is there another example of a reaction that affects us daily? Food, what about food? Gives us energy, how? breaks down inside of our body, releases energy through the process of what? Okay, it's a, it's a chemical reaction, and what, what kind do we think it is? Decomposition. Our body breaks the food down and turns it into energy. All right, so what I'd like you to do on your exit tickets that were passed out, 
is to go ahead and answer these three questions to let me know that you understand what we covered today. Make sure we understand the objectives that we covered.